Good morning. Why does blind Bartimaeus call Jesus the son of David? Today we're looking at the Gospel of Mark and we're looking at verses 46 on out to 52. Let's read. Now they came to Jericho as he went out of Jericho with his disciples and a great multitude. Blind Bartimaeus, the son of Timaeus, sat by the road begging. And when he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to cry out and say, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Then many warned him to be quiet, but he cried out all the more, Son of David, have mercy on me. So Jesus stood still and commanded him to be called. Then they called the blind man, saying to him, Be of good cheer, rise, he's calling you. And throwing aside his garment, he arose and came to Jesus. So Jesus answered and said to him, What do you want me to do for you? The blind man said to him, Rabboni, that I may receive my sight. Then Jesus said to him, Go your way, your faith has made you well. And immediately he received his sight and followed Jesus on the road. Bartimaeus is blind, he cannot see, but he can hear the chatter and he hears the crowds and he hears them talking and that and Jesus, Jesus is here, Jesus of Nazareth is here. And when Bartimaeus hears that, he, uh, he knows this is the one he's heard about. And so he pipes up. Now, what's most interesting here is that he doesn't call him Jesus of Nazareth. He calls him Jesus, the son of David. And that's what he begins to cry out, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. The crowd were discussing Jesus of Nazareth, but blind Bartimaeus had heard of this. Everybody around in Israel had heard of these things happening. And he'd heard of the deeds of Jesus and heard these miraculous healings just overflowing, all different examples of it. And so he... He believed that this wasn't just an ordinary teacher. This wasn't just an ordinary uh, itinerant preacher. This, this person was doing miracles. And so he called him Son of David because he believed that Jesus must be the Messiah after all. Now this is a big thing. This is a big deal. Here is a voice, a voice of some downtrodden poor guy begging for, begging for a, a, some little fragment of money on the side of the road. He's calling Jesus Son of David. He is acknowledging Jesus as Messiah. And this, this, this is important. And Jesus stops what he's doing. He's, he's walking. He stops, and he calls for the guy to be brought to him. Of course, before that, they're telling him, quiet down. You're interrupting. You're making so much noise. But when Jesus heard Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me, he stops, stops right there in the middle of the road. This is something that's not going to be passed by. So Jesus asks him, what do you want me to do for you? And he says, verse 52, he says, that I would receive my sight. And so then Jesus uh, says this. Jesus says, go your way, your faith, your faith has made you well. And he receives his sight, and what does he do? Does he just disappear across the horizon? No, he now begins to, to follow Jesus, and he's going to follow him on into this triumphal interest that's coming up when we talk tomorrow morning. You know, I like that Bartimaeus refused to be silenced by the crowd. He called out even more. That's, that's my kind of guy. Yes, that's what we want. Now, of everyone in this incident, it is, it is blind Bartimaeus who sees that Jesus is the Son of God. Isn't it interesting how often the crowd who sees doesn't see? But there's a few, a few people, just a few in there, who see and hear a lot more. I hope that you're one of those that sees and hears a lot more of what God is doing. Blind Bartimaeus had faith, and he acted out his faith. And real faith cannot be silenced. And so this is an example for us. Let's pray together. Dear Father in heaven, help us to have faith and to act on our faith. When people tell us to be quiet about the Messiah, help us not to be quiet about the Messiah. Lord, help us to acknowledge you and anticipate that you will do mighty things for those who believe and serve you. We ask for, for this in Jesus' name, amen. So, sometimes... Many who see don't see. You and I be one that sees. May Jesus bless our faith as we act out and live our faith. So one of our best arguments in prayer, remember this, is actually the argument of Bartimaeus. Jesus, son of David, have mercy on us. Son of David, have mercy on us. We are acknowledging him as king, as Messiah. And so he would like it if we have that in us and we seek him. It's not that Jesus needs that. Jesus knows who he is. It, it's to help us that we say it. Jesus, Son of David, have mercy on us. God be with you today.